Sujoy, talk to me about the fact that um, do you feel that that whole you know films are working, people are back in theaters. Yeah. It's it's one of the bestest times for the industry. Whether it's OTT or theaters, audience is back in a very big way. When that narrative of oh theaters, I mean, no, industry is shutting down, films are not working, uh, pitting a region against another was going on. What was going in your mind? What were you going through in that phase? You know, I wasn't really. Uh, I was mic. more worried about the other side. You know, oh, sorry, the mic. Oh. I was more worried about what's happening otherwise, more than the films in terms of COVID and all the other issues that were happening. So that, to me, felt like a very natural reaction to what was going on in our lives. You know, people not going into the halls, people not going into malls, people not doing a lot of public uh, activities. So what was tha, and it took a while to get back. I never lost faith, actually. I'm, I'm just, just me. I could be wrong, but. Uh, it didn't scare me that much. Mm. Uh, OTT was there, yes. Uh, we, we were definitely looking at new content. You know, it, it gave us a lot of uh, scope of looking at various different contents across the world. But film was always there. You know, film was always in the back of the mind. So it didn't really bother me that much, personally. You know, Karina in a recent interview said that Saif told her that, you know, she has to be on her toes because she has to work with Vijay and Jaydeep. Um, and coming from a Karina, I mean, she's a superstar. When you get to be in a frame with her or when she walks into the room, she spells superstardom. What do you make of that comment of hers? I mean, that says a lot, right? Vijay, you want to take it? I mean, yeah, when she, she spoke about this a few times and me and Jaydeep would get so embarrassed because... You know, here's a person, an actress who we grew up watching on the big screen, and and you know we we had our own wide-eyed, you know, looking, staring at her, and do marvelous things. And when somebody like that speaks so highly of you, and and many times, so we got really embarrassed, and we didn't know what to do. We just look down, we look here, we look there. We just. Uh, but I think I would like to thank Seth because <laughs> had Seth not told her about us, I don't think she would have known. <laughs> Yeah, Bebo perhaps would have uh, lived, stayed, continued stayed living under a rock and been on Instagram. That's her for you. But um, Jaydeep, given the fact that, you know, versatility is a tag that you often get attached to, and it's loosely used, oh, he's a versatile actor. But tell me, is there a certain myth about yourself that you want to perhaps break, that you feel that has come on to you unknowingly, that there is this myth about Jaydeep Alawat, the persona, the figure? And if you were asked that there's one myth that you would like to break today, what would it be? I don't know. Uh, मुझे लगता है लोगों ने बहुत सीरियस सीरियस आदमी समझ लिया मुझे उनको लगता है कि बहुत ही ज्यादा टेंस रहता हुआ सारा दिन मुझे लगता है रोल भी ऐसे दे दिए कि आप पहचान नहीं पाते बहुत सारे लोग कि अच्छा और आपने में वो मेकअप वाला था इन्होंने बट आई 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 एम श्योर जैसे विजय ने कहा कि आई वुड लाइक टू सी माई सेल्फ इन एन आउट एंड आउट कॉमेडी विच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन अ वेरी गुड स्क्रिप्ट ऑल्सो एंड अ वेरी गुड डायरेक्टर आई वॉन्ट टू प्ले हिंदी न्यूज रिपोर्टर Like oh. the one that creates the set inside the inside the studio. Ki be yahan par baad a gayi hai aur helicopter mein hum log ja rahe hain. I would yeah. like to do a character like that. Either either out and out action action film. We would love to do that. So Joy, there's a checklist right now for you for the variety of roles that these guys want to play. I think you should just sort of sign them on as you leave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're already signed on. I'm not part of that producer clan. If I just उसमें पैसे कम थे काम अच्छा है. No, uh, but on a serious note, when you come off a Jane Jan, I mean, it's trending worldwide. It's sort of become a huge success. Uh, you know, one of the biggest shows for Netflix. How do you maneuver from there? Success is one thing that sometimes gets tricky to deal with because then that becomes a parameter for your next. If things don't work, then when you when you take on the next film or a project. then you do that well and then you're like oh okay this was better than the first what is how has definition of success changed for the both of you has it changed how do you look at success uh, i really don't don't understand it i just have this feeling that you know when you do something when you take certain choices sometimes they are risky choices uh, for that matter the role that i did in darlings which was a, a very abusive husband in a very toxic marriage um, and in the hard where i'm playing a serial killer uh these were very tough choices to make for an actor because you know the impression can be very strong in the audience's mind and the and and 
and the trade and the media and the producers and the directors could be extremely harsh in choosing me next time, you know. Um, but when they connect and when you find an audience, when you take a choice, when you actually, you know, audience finds you and, and they like you for what you did, it just gives you a lot of confidence in believing in yourself that, you know, some part of you, you know, you put your bet on it and it worked. So I, right now, for me, success feels like, you know, some kind of an intuition that works for you mm. and it connects. So that's the feeling I am living with right now. So I'm in the thick of things. I'm feeling most creative right now. And it feels amazing because there's enough money in the bank and I can afford to take a few months off. <laughs>